on display only. There'll be no puppet shows. She did give me a quick lesson on how to become a puppeteer. That'll make her look down. Just oh, wait a minute. I see. But I, you pull in that and hold the... There you go. What do you call this? Back, this is called the bowstring. No, I mean the whole... Oh, this whole thing? Yes. Control. Oh, the whole oh, is <laughs> it's a clever it's name. The <laughs> Hi, Olive. Hi, Papa. Hi. Oh, where have you been? I've been around here looking at the antiques, Olive. Oh, what did you see, Papa? That's good. Now, in order to make her head go from side to side, you just rock the control. That's it. That's good. Okay. <laughs> I don't do so well either, are See, you? I told you. <laughs> You're doing fine. Let me walk back the other way, Popeye. You're getting over that operation. Is it all right if we move it? our lips? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, Olive. I <laughs> just sit down here a minute. Oh, sure. <laughs> bye now. Yeah, bye. <laughs> okay, Paul Schaefer, News Center 4. Dental investigative scientists in San Antonio at the U.S. Air Force School of Aerospace Medicine are looking for lasers to eliminate dental lab work in the future. Lieutenant Colonel Bruce Altshuler explained the laser system measures an object such as a tooth to be restored in three dimensions and records it mathematically on a computer. With this method, there would be no need to take impressions of the patient's mouth. The only dental lab work oh, yeah. would consist of a machine oh, programmed by machine. the information received from the laser to form the new tooth, saving time and money. By automating these techniques, uh, we can make crowns faster and better and cheaper. And we could centralize the dental laboratories uh, so that uh, one dental laboratory would make many more crowns and uh, uh, many more prostheses. In this way, by reducing the costs in dentistry, more people would be able to uh, afford dentistry, at least we hope in the future. This 3D mapping method can also be used to build other spare body parts. This bulky laser arrangement is for research only. Colonel Altshuler said to be practical, it must come down in size, consisting of two small portable boxes. Paul Schaefer, News Center 4. These singers and their wives from Wiesbaden, Germany, are in Texas to participate in a Sangerfest later this month in Fredericksburg. Saturday and Sunday, they will be at the Beethoven Club's Oktoberfest in San Antonio. I talked to the director and asked him if he couldn't let me sing with them. I think it's a, a little problem because the German pronunciation yeah, is very but, hard and so on. Yeah, try me a... Uh, what, what is the difficult... Uh, the difficult is uh, that uh, uh, we have uh, ein rrr, 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 yes. <laughs> 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 Paul Schaefer, News Center 4.